Speed is not everything. So hi guys, new clip for today. Speed is not everything. In fact, it's very little part of the whole picture. Uh, well, some people think uh, they have fast hands or fast kicks that they are really fast, but this is only one part of the whole picture or of the whole skill you have to have. Uh, because believe me, if you have fast hands, but you suck at footwork at a distance, it doesn't mean anything. Fast hands don't mean anything. The most important things in Jeet Kune Do or in fighting in general is not how fast your muscles are. It can be beneficial, but it's not the most important thing. It's much more important the quickness of your seeing, how fast you can see things, because speed is not only muscle speed, it's also the speed of your awareness, how fast you can see things, how concentrated you can be in a fight situation. Uh, your timing is much more important than your speed because if your timing sucks you punch in a wrong moment it doesn't matter how fast you are and also your footwork so from what distance you choose to deliver your technique whether it's kick or punch doesn't really matter these are all things you must learn and have to control and well have to master and b being fast in your hands it's uh, only one part of it. You can see a lot of people training Jeet Kune Do and standing flat, not moving, and they're just moving their, their hands. But the partner is not really doing anything. Once the opponent starts to move and he controls his distance, then you're not going to be able to do this. So then you have to apply your footwork, your timing to land your kicks, uh, to land your hits with your punches, with your finger jabs or with your feet. And uh, uh, on the other hand, if the other guy is really bad at his footwork and you use footwork, then this is a big advantage uh, for you because you control the distance and you control the fight. He has to adjust, adjust to you and not other way around. Anytime you see people standing flat and using their hands, for me, this is <laughs> lack of understanding how a real fight uh, should go and how you could use this to your benefit. Just for an example, how would you use timing? And then we have an example when a guy tries to stick at you. So in this situation, if you just don't apply footwork and this guy comes and he punches you, it's uh, pretty easy for him because you let him do it. But if you actually apply your footwork and you angle off and you use your uh, distance and footwork to attack him on different angles, then it would look something like this. So, and then you can see like in other video where Jeet Kune came from and where it went to by using timing, awareness, footwork and distance control. It's like I said many times, more like a fencer and like a boxer where you're using your distance uh, to your advantage and you're not trying to stick and remove the opponent's hands where actually when you do that, uh, the hand speed would be much more important because uh, there is no footwork in involved or just very little. But once the footwork is uh, involved, the hand speed is much less important. And one thing most people neglect is uh, speed or quickness of seeing things. Um, just to give you an example. So we have a guy, he's standing in neutral position like uh, in, in street it would be the case because the people usually don't take up a stances before they fight you. If they do, then you attack right into him taking the stance, you don't wait him to attack. But that's another story for another subject. Let's say we have a guy here and he is in neutral stance and he wants to punch you. And when he punches you, it would look something like this. 
This is a kind of punch you would probably see uh, outside on the street from an untrained guy. So, and then when a guy punches like this, you try to block him and to counter him, this could be pretty difficult, okay? Because it's pretty heavy punch and uh, you may wait too long because you trained to block the punches. But the quickness of seeing is something different. You don't wait for him to punch. You want to start much earlier than that. And then you want, you want to use your uh, footwork and your body movement so you can counter him and at the same time you don't get hit. So you don't need to block. Because blocking in Jeet Kune Do, in late Jeet Kune Do is last resort. So if you don't go away or if you see it too late, then you have to cover yourself or block the punch, okay? But if you concentrate it, you should uh, be actually able to avoid that. And this would be something like this. Now you saw a few examples uh, how you react not to his attack with the hand but to his body movement as soon as he start and then you counter. In this case I was using a finger jab and I was using body movement and my footwork to avoid to get hit in case I miss the finger jab so I can avoid and I would attack a second time. You can do this also uh, with other techniques if you're more far away and, and the guy maybe wants to kick you then you can use the legs for intercepting. But this is pure intercepting. So you see this is so much different than the earlier stuff Bruce did, all this trapping and everything. But this is much more harder to master because your whole body is involved. You have to use the, uh, footwork, you have to use the judgment of the distance and you have to see the opponent moving so you'll be able uh, to time your attacks into his attacks or slightly before he starts to attack. So guys, now you know why, why pure hand speed uh, is not so important. Because if I time it wrong, I punch too early and the guy can react, or I punch uh, on the wrong moment and I get hit or, or kicked. So that's why the pure hand speed, it's beneficial, but it's not everything. It's just one part of, of the whole thing. If you have only hand speed, and <laughs> you lack everything else, uh, it's not gonna help you much. But if you have everything else and you're a bit slower with the hand speed, it may be not so great problem. Guys, footwork is so much important. Distance control is so much important. The feeling of distance, uh, timing is one of the most important things. If you don't have timing, you don't have nothing, basically. So I hope this helps. And guys, see you next time.